Alright YouTube, David Harry here and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect an external SSD to your iPhone. In this instance I'm going to be using an iPhone 13 mini and I will also show you how to copy files from the external SSD to the internal storage of the iPhone. So what I'm going to be using for this particular video is the Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. Quite often these are called dongles and for the external SSD storage I am going to be using the Samsung T7 and this one is a one terabyte version. Now the main reason for using this particular Apple adapter is because it also has a lightning port on it which we shall use to connect power to because it is very unlikely that the iPhone on its own will be able to send enough power to the SSD to power it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to attach the adapter to the lightning port on the iPhone. Then I'm going to supply power by plugging in my charger into the lightning port on the adapter. Then I am going to connect the Samsung T7 SSD to the USB port on the adapter. Once the T7 is attached we will also see a blue light switch on. This is just to indicate that we are actually sending power to the T7 and it is active. Now at this point we have got everything connected correctly so I can access data from the Samsung T7. Now of course the reason why I can do this is because the Samsung T7 comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable and also a USB-C to USB-A cable which is what I am using right now. Now you could of course use a different external USB-C SSD however you have to make sure that it will connect to the Apple adapter via the USB-A connection and to access the external SSD we just go to the file browser and then in the list of locations we should find our external drive as we can see here I've got one terabyte T7 SSD has come up so I'm going to tap on that and then as we can see there I can now browse through all the files that are on that drive now what I'm going to do is to copy a file from the drive and put it to the internal storage on the iPhone so let me go to this folder here so what I'm going to do is hover over and click one of the files there then I will tap on copy now you might have to wait momentarily here whilst it pre buffers the file before it moves it so what we're going to do is go backwards here and then go back again and then I'm going to go to on my iPhone so let me tap on there now what I'm going to do is tap on the screen and then we will get an option to paste so I'm going to click on paste and that's going to start pasting the file depending upon the size of the file this could take a short amount of time or it could take a long amount of time but as we can see this file is nearly done okay so that was 379 megabytes now what I can do is now play the file directly on the iPhone so there we go. Now obviously just as easily we could either be copying or backing up files from the internal storage of the iPhone to the external SSD. Now there will be links in the description to this video taking you to where you can buy everything that I've used in this video on Amazon. And if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell notification icon to be notified of similar videos in the future. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.